Welcome back. Montana is in striking distance. We're gonna get there today. Uh, we gotta stop at a. We're gonna stop at a next flying J again here and uh, put some more gas in it and clean this the carnage from yesterday, from last evening, off the front of the bounder. How bad we hit a we hit a swarm of bugs, I guess. Yeah. Look at these bugs. I mean, the windshield. Uh, pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. <laughs> right, Bella. Right, Bella. Montana today, you say? Maybe this is a better look at the bugs. Huh? Pretty nasty. All right, you ready to go, girl? Are you ready to go? Yeah, good old Flying J. We're gonna we're gonna leave all these bugs. There's a certain excitement. Uh, about uh, in, in anticipation of when we're Theodore Roosevelt National Park in a painted grand, the painted canyon visitor center. I'll never stop it or not. But there's a, uh oh, no, that's not that. Oh, we are, but we let me slow down a minute. We are definitely getting into an area where the landscape is changing. We will be pulling off here shortly. I just come over, I was just gonna say, there's a certain excitement and, uh, wait a minute, there's a rest area. Maybe this would be a good place to pull over. Uh, exit 32, we're getting off there. There's a certain excitement and anticipation because I know, you know, we're well into the western part of uh, North Dakota and I know at some, at some point here you know you've you got you know, nice rolling hills I'm going to come over one of the tops of these hills and get my first glimpse of the Rocky Mountains be able to see the peaks off in the distance I've never been out this way before so I'm excited about that um, I wasn't realizing we were here already. We're gonna get off and exit up here. And I, wow. Yeah, we have to get off on an exit. I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, we were that flying J and I cleaned the windshield off. Not perfect, but really, yeah, pretty well. Yeah, see the bugs already. Just being on the road for another hour, hour and a half. I don't know if there's any in front of the dash cam or not. Rest area, scenic view, 32. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, it is. There we go. From Alaska. 
classic GMC from Alaska. Well, first thing, I didn't realize that was alive. It was a real one. Bella doesn't, Bella doesn't quit it. Bella doesn't, Bella doesn't like them. Bella, Bella. Bella. <laughs> but Bella, he's kind of like a cow. I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize it was a live one standing there when we pulled up. Uh, warning, unstable ground. Look at this. Wow. Get back. <laughs> Get back, girl. That's unstable out there. Wow. The landscape is going to get interesting here. Well, it has, should I say. I expect there's going to be more of it. Pretty nice, huh? Uh, that, uh, that buffalo is headed towards the RV. <laughs> I'm gonna see what's going on. He's just walk he's just walking through the parking lot, and everybody's taking pictures and videos of him.
not going to stick around here too much longer. We've got another probably an hour to go to get into Montana. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of this sort of thing. Let's get out of here. I don't know why I thought those GMCs were bigger. But compared to the Bounder, it's just a little guy. I don't think a buffalo's up here somewhere. Come on, girl, get out of the way. I wonder how close is too close to a buffalo. <laughs> I don't know. He should be. There he is over there. I notice is there's no overnight camping. But that's okay. The day's early. We're gonna we've arrived. We're in Montana. We're gonna have a scenic view over here a little bit. And find it. It's warmed up pretty good today. I think it's gonna be in the 80s today and tomorrow. We're gonna find us a nice shady spot. Your destination is on the left. We're gonna find us a shady spot and, uh, and rest.
rest and get our bearings to the area. We might we might actually go to a campground tonight. I don't know. You know, just for just for a night till I can sort things out. Well, what we do from here. And better. Okay, we we sat and took a break here for a little bit. Uh, well, for a short while, and it's just getting hotter out. And when you know it, you know, it's not one of these parks that seldom gets used. This park is actually popular. We sat here and as we took a break, you know, more, more and more cars uh, pulled in. And uh, it's a popular swimming hole. A lot of kids over there swimming. And, uh, you know, this isn't the best place to park. And I checked the weather. It's going to be hot. It's, you know, the next four days, there's a heat, heat wave. And then, then it cools back off. So I found a cheap campground we're going to go to. It's 25 bucks a night, full hookups. Um, we're gonna hang out there for a couple of days. I can get caught up on some work and some editing and uh, that's it. Uh, now I overheard a couple of teenagers talking. They seen the sticker on my RV, uh, Dave's RV life, right? So, somebody said, hey, guys, somebody's got a YouTube channel over there. We should this or we should that. So I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't some antics maybe when we drive past them. We'll, we'll see, I suspect something. <laughs> parks go a lot of them just rarely see any use I mean there's people swimming everywhere and people start pulling in here's two vehicles and lots of kids so they have a little boat launch here video here thanks for uh, as always thanks for watching my videos like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already uh, until next time I'll see you